the cosmological argument. Cosmological arguments. Basis for arguments is that the universe cannot account for its own existence. Why do things exist at all? Why is there something, rather than nothing? Plato argued that everything must have been created by some cause. Aristotle argued that behind the series of cause and effect in the world there must be an unmoved mover. Aquinas and the cosmological argument in five ways. Ways to describe God through inductive argument, based on observation and evidence. A key goal for Aquinas was to show how faith and reason could work together. He was a well-known man in the church working as an advisor to the Pope. In his view knowledge of God could be reached in two ways. One through revelation, God chose to the truth to people, for example through the Bible. Other is through human reason, he thought that if we applied reason to the evidence around us, we can reach valuable truths. Aquinas presented five ways in showing that God exists because he was convinced that although the existence of God was not self-evident, it could be demonstrated with logical thought. Of his five ways, the first three are different variants of the cosmological argument. Aquinas based his argument on two assumptions. The universe exists. There must be a reason why. However, some people such as Bertrand Russell and Richard Dawkins, are happy to accept the universe as just is without moving to the conclusion that there should be some reason for it. First way, the unmoved mover. Air motion, in the world. Something must have been set in motion by something. Aquinas thought that this sequence must have been an unmoved mover to set the whole thing off. If change is brought around about in thing A by thing B then B must have the characteristics of the change it brings about. Argument was on dependency, rather than going back in time until a beginning was found, he was using the idea that God sustains the universe, and trying to show that we could not have a universe of change, vitality and emotion without a first mover. Aquinas concentrated on the existence of change. Second way, the uncaused mover. The argument is similar, replaces the idea with change and motion with the concept of cause. Every effect has a cause, argues infinite regress is impossible. Therefore there must be a first cause which we call God. He focuses on the efficient cause, took up Aristotle's ideas and understanding of causes to argue that things do not cause themselves in this way they cannot be their own agents. Therefore he said, there must be a first efficient cause also known as God. Third way, contingency. The world consists of contingent beings, which are beings that begin and end, and which are dependent on something else for their existence. Everything in the physical world is contingent depending on external factors for its existence. Things are contingent in two ways, they depend on external having brought them into existence in the first place. Since Aquinas we have learnt about how the existence of one species depends very much on the existence of another and on natural resources, some would argue that these discoveries add support to the points Aquinas made. Contingent things need something else to bring them into existence but being independent of everything else, or necessary. Some criticisms of Aquinas' argument. There is no reason as to why the cause and effect chain cannot be infinite. Leibniz argued that even as everything moved the next thing in an infinite chain, there would still need to be an explanation of the whole existence. Some argue that the idea that actual x can only be brought about by who is actual x Kenny argues that this isn't necessarily true. Aquinas argued that for a stick to become hot, this had to be caused by actual heat. Kenny argues that it could be caused by friction, 
and electric current can generate heat. Some have criticized the idea of God as an uncaused mover, saying that the whole cosmological argument depends upon the idea that nothing can cause itself and then it is self-contradictory by saying that God does exactly what it just claimed was impossible. God is unique and exists in a unique kind of way. Evidence to suggest that everything in the universe is contingent. People such as Hume argue that logically, the cosmological argument need not to lead to one first cause there could be a variety of causes, and neither is there a logical reason to link this to the Christian God. The same criticism could be made of Aquinas' cosmological argument as can be made of teleological arguments. The Kalam argument in Islam. A version of the cosmological argument. Kalam means speaking in Arabic. Al Kindi and Al Ghazli studied Aristotle and saw how his ideas about cause could be applied to Muslim faith. Argues that everything which begins to exist must have a cause to make it come into existence. The universe must have had a cause, because there must have been a time when it began to exist. Infinite regress cannot exist in actuality. Kalam argument continues by saying that we can now see that there must have been a time when the universe didn't exist. There must be some personal intelligent agency to choose that the universe should exist, and this personal intelligent agent must exist outside of time and space. Criticisms of Kalam arguments misunderstands the nature of infinity and that it has to exist in actuality even if we cannot imagine it. No need for there to have been an agent making choice between having a universe and not having one, the universe could just begun by accident, without any conscious choice being made. Doesn't provide evidence for the existence of a god with all the qualities and characteristics that theists claim god has. Kalam argument may be contradictory. Ubnis and sufficient reason. Argued if the universe has always existed, it doesn't give us an explanation of why it exists. Everything has to have a sufficient reason. States that there must be reasons to explain facts, even if we don't know what those reasons are. Bertrand Russell said just because a human being has a mother doesn't mean that the whole human species has a mother, overstepping rules of logic to move from individual things, to the view that the totality has a cause. Canton Cosmological and Design Arguments Rejected Ideas from Thinkers Such as Hume God Exists Without a Cause teleological argument depends on the view that there must be a designer, existing outside the world in the same way as the first cause or unmoved mover of cosmological arguments. The radio debate between Russell and Copleston. Copleston argued that each object in the universe is dependent, contingent, on the existence of other things, and relies for its existence on the previous existence of his parents, and on the continued existence of air and of food. It is meaningful to talk of there being a cause to the universe. Copleston agreed with Leibniz, everything must have a sufficient reason for its existence. Russell responded to this with the idea that a concept of a necessary being had no meaning for him. The concept of the universe as a whole having a cause was meaningless for Russell. His view was that we cannot grasp the concept of the entire scheme of things, and then hope to find an explanation for it. Concept of cause is not applicable to the universe, I should say that there the universe is just the, and that's all. Scientists in 1947 were discovering first causes which haven't in themselves got causes so the whole notion of everything having to have a sufficient reason and a prime mover was undermined. By the end of the debate they both agreed that they had little common ground, they agreed to move on to another topic. Peter Atkins 
professor of chemistry at University of Oxford, dismissed cosmological argument for the existence of God. The argument is still debated in universities. Doesn't present a proof of the existence of God, since there is the possibility that the universe is a brute fact and ultimately unintelligible, but it supports the possibility that the universe does have an explanation, and this explanation could be God. Thank you for watching. If you want this channel to upload more videos on A-level religious studies please like this video and subscribe this channel.